Good morning, it's Monday, May 1st. I'm the Cajun Bell to show you every day what a full-time reseller sells on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. It's a great one this week. I, I had a great weekend. I had 36 sales all together, 18 on eBay, 15 on Poshmark, and three on Macari. All the websites were doing well for some reason. I have no idea why. It was great. Um, a, lot of, a lot of high price sales in here. A lot of lower ones too. Poshmark. I sent out 30% offers on my whole closet. So that's why you're going to see a lot of these sales. But even minus those offers, I probably still would have had like 10 sales or eh, probably about half of what I actually had. Probably about seven. So Poshmark was actually pretty good over the weekend anyway. So the, the, the little offers just helped out a lot. <laughs> there are some low cost sales in here too though because I am running my perpetual sales in my eBay closet, anything over three months gets 30 to 50% off, depending on how long it's been around. So there are some low things in here, but that's okay. And hats, let's start out with a hat. Hats for some reason, every hat that I had listed, including in my liquidation store, every hat that I had listed, that was not a regular old ball cap sold, every one. Very weird. Very, very small sample size, but just saying. How does that happen over the weekend? Was it weird? Okay. First up is definitely a bolo. Now I got lucky and got it with the box. So kind of adds some value, even though it is a used hat, but it is a hat. It's a Stetson hat. Found this at Goodwill. Finally got it listed. I've had it sitting here for quite a while. It is a Stetson, Stetson something, Stetson Renegade. It's right there. Renegade. Stetson Renegade, $100 in two days. That is an excellent sell through. Love that. Um, I mean, I knew Stetson did okay. So I kind of knew to get that one anyway, but finding it with the box is excellent. Love that one. I'm going to put that over here. It is large and in the way. Next up is a pair of boots, these Jules boots. When I found these, I was super excited about them because first of all, I had never found Jules rain boots before. And I knew because I I come across a lot of Jules at the Dillard's Clearance Center. So I have looked up Jules before to see what items sell for a lot. So I knew already that these uh, rain boots were a bolo. Any of the Jules uh, rain boots are in that bolo range, usually around $50, but these were special. They're cute. They had the bows on the back. These are like extra special when it comes to jewels. That's your brand right there, jewels. Size are they? You can see it right here. Eight, size eight. They are really heavy, but didn't have a lot of wear on them. Looked pretty new. They just, nice boots. My dog just farted. You stink. She's laying right at my feet. She stinks. <laughs> he sold in two weeks for $77.75. Two great sales in a row, right? I just love that. Going to put those over there too. <laughs> Get too much big stuff. It's going to be fun to pack up. Another hat. Another hat. This one I did pick up very recently. Found it at Goodwill. I usually look at the hats. Um, I don't pick up ball caps. I know there's a lot of people out there. There's, a, there's sellers out there that sell nothing but ball caps and good on them. I mean, they're super easy to pack up and list and stuff. So I, I get why they do it, but I usually just pick up hats that I don't have a lot of luck with ball caps. I don't, I don't know enough, honestly, to know what to pick up, but this one was a no brainer, not a no brainer. I looked it up. I looked at comps. Comps were great. Sell through was great. So Anytime I see any type of cowboy hat, straw hats, that kind of stuff, I look them up to see how they sell. $30, two days. So I listed both the hats two days ago at the same time, and they both sold in two days. So super great sell through on those. It's going to be a long video, y'all. I'm looking over here at some of these prices, and I mean, I've got a lot of 40s. I've got a lot of 50s, a good bit of 30s. It was a great weekend. I am so happy with this. A free people brawl. Here's a bunch of small stuff. Free people brawl. I, I sort 
whenever I'm picking my stuff out of my shed. Now, the hats stay inside, the shoes stay inside, so that's why they come first, just in case y'all are wondering. Um, and then I sort everything by inventory number so I can go in order when I'm picking out my stuff. So, all the stuff at the beginning is going to be cheaper stuff because it's stuff that's on major sale at this point. So, we'll just get through that. 99 cents, free people brawl. Y'all watch this channel a lot, you know. I had a ton, ton, ton of these. Same thing with the swimsuit top, 99 cents, new with tags. This is Antonio Milani. Um, I do pick this up when it's really cheap. This is not a great brand, but I will pick it up if it's really cheap. Antonio Milani does have a couple bolos. So if you're interested, go in and, you know, sort highest to lowest. There are a few bolos for the Antonio Milani. Um, the cashmere sweaters do pretty well. There's uh, there's actually bigger bolos. There's some dresses out there that they have that they did collabs with some other companies and bloggers that go for a, a whole lot. So, I don't know. If you're interested, you see this brand a lot, I, su I suggest look at that. $10.08 one year and two months. $8 one year and two months. <laughs> Same story. Ungaro? Un Ungaro? What's the name of this thing? Emmanuel Angaro. This is a pretty little top. It's a size 12. It's a silk and cotton blend. It's a cute little floral. And it took forever to sell. I probably had a price too high. And honestly, I didn't remember that it existed anymore. I've had it for six months, which means... Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. Where am I at? I've had it for one year and one month. Probably won't pick that brand up again. But it went on 50% off and it sold for $28. So, yeah, I had a price too high. It is a designer name, but, you know, you live and you learn. Maybe I would pick it up again and just not price it so high. I don't know. I will not know until that happens again. <laughs> three brawls. Three different customers, three brawls. A Chantel brawl for $20. Had it for six months. A Vanity Fair brawl. This came from the bins. The, the Chantel and this LaCalle brawl both came from the Dealer's Clearance Center as the Free People one and the bathing suit did too. But these came for $3. Um, I've lost my place again. $12.60. This came from the bins. This is a older Vanity Fair brawl. Vanity Fair can actually do it. If you're finding Vanity Fair new with tags, it can do pretty well. I've sold that one before. Back whenever I was doing a lot of liquidation, I would sell Vanity Fair bras, and they Vanity Fair would fly. So, just so you know, five months though, twelve dollars and sixty cents sold bra. So, not really a surprise there. And then I will call bra six months, thirty dollars and eighty cents. So, that's a good one, thirty dollars. Love those will call bras. Oh, Bonobos. I do not pick this brand up anymore. I don't pick it up in anything. I'm sure there's some bolos in this brand that do well. This isn't a very expensive brand, but I just don't find that it sells well on the used market. Now, if I came across with, of it new with tags, I might reconsider. I might look at it and see what, what the stuff sells for. I like this shirt. I, I usually, pat, even at the bins, I would pass up Bonobos for the most part. But I just really like this shirt because it was just different with the, the large stripe. Thinking that maybe it would do well because of that. I was wrong. <laughs> Five months, $12. <laughs> that was an offer that came in. I just took it because I knew I had had it for a while at this point. Just get it going. Cabby shirt. This is a cute little cabby shirt. It's extra small. This came from the bins. Cute little uh, sleeveless top. Then, you know, you're not going to get a lot for something like that. So, $17.39 is actually pretty good. And it sold in four months. So, there is cabby stuff out there that can still do okay. There's some cabby stuff out there that can do really okay. So, you just have to look it up. Let me show you. I feel like a lot of people will know this, but just in case you do not, Cabby has a style code, much like Free People does and Athleta. It is very easy to just Google the name Cabby and then put the style number in and it pops right up what exactly it is so you can look at the sell through and see what they're selling for. Style number, this one's 5022. So, it is good to have that information. I even put the style number in the listings for Cabby because people will search for them by the style number, too. So, 
maybe it's just resellers that are doing it. <laughs> it's very possible. Three people thermal, $20 in two months. These came from the dealer's clearance center, three bucks. I always like picking up these contrasting trim. These don't seem to do as well. This newer one does not do as well. The ones that have a lot of color on them seem to do a little bit better, so. But these things happen, right? Did I say $20 two months? I don't know. Some Foot Joy pants. Found a bunch of these. I just showed y'all a pair of these last week that sold, maybe Friday. Newer tags, Foot Joy pants, men's golf type pants. Golf, it's time for golf. So, love picking these. Up. I would pick these up any time of the year, though, honestly, because Foot Joy always does well for me. Even on the used market, Foot Joy can do very well for me, especially the pants. Shorts and shirts, you know, you might want to pull back a little. Polos, not so much, but like the long sleeve, um, pullover, jacket type windbreaker things. Those do very well for me too. So, Foot Joy is a great brand to sell. These sold for $35 in two weeks. Love those. I still think I still have three pairs of those left. I love finding some new tags at the at the regular Goodwill. That's great. This is so cute, and I knew it would do well. This is Joseph Rivkoff. I talked about Joseph Rivkoff on Friday, I think. I sold a um, jersey knit dress of, of Joseph Rivkoff, and I said in that video, I said, I have a really nice jacket right now. Look at this. How cute is this with the big buttons? And then I love this detail on the sleeve. It's a great print. It's a nice neutral print. And then the back has this cute big button detail too. It's very cute. It's great size, size 14. I mean, <laughs> I didn't even look this up. I was just like, yeah, I'm picking that up. That's going to be a great one. And it sold for $42 in six days. That's an excellent one. Love that. Love that geometric print. Allie Miles. This is the second Allie Miles shirt I have sold in the last week. Um, I picked up both of the Allie Miles Mile shirts at the same time. I don't have my date on here how long this took. I just listed this this last week. So it's less than a week. $31.99. This is also new with tags. I've been finding a lot of new with tags lately. I don't know why. I'm not complaining. <laughs> but also new with tags. Um, you can find this brand at the Dealer's Clearance Center. Also, just FYI, if you're getting it for like three bucks, $31.99 is not bad in a week sell through. Now, this one is a 2X, which so it's a great size too. But Allie Miles does have a following. It does do well, um, especially on eBay. So don't pass up the Allie Miles if you're seeing it, especially if it's new with tags and a great size. Just some palette liquidation stuff. Five of these for 25 bucks. I don't mind. And then another hat. The hats, y'all. I can't believe it. It's a slogger's hat. Where is the tag? There's no tag. How do I know this is slogger's? Did I make that up? I didn't make it up. But there it is. Slogger's. <laughs> this came from the bins. So, super lightweight. Great hat for springtime, obviously. It's a good fishing hat outside, outdoors thing. Three months, $17.49. That is the last thing for eBay. Throw that over there with all the other big stuff. I'm going to run out of room very quickly. Here is another great sale. Poshmark. Poshmark burned it up this weekend. Thank you, Poshmark. Wilson's Leather. Wilson's Leather. How often do you see Wilson's Leather? I see it all the time. The M. Julian. Wilson's Leather M. Julian can do okay. Obviously, you want to look it up. But this is a size large, a bomber type style. Um, not like a full bomber though. It doesn't have the the elastic at the bottom. But just a really nice jacket. I got this at a yard sale. Um, Y'all saw me sell the other one I got with it. They were $5 a piece at a yard sale. So great price. Sold in one month and two weeks for $50. Well, since leather is something I have been looking into more and more lately because you see it often. I'm gonna, Put this over there too. All this big stuff. It's gonna take me forever to pack everything up today. Wilson's leather, though, I have been. I, I I can sell it, so it seems to sell okay. It definitely depends on the style. You definitely need to look it up 
and make sure that it is a good style that will sell quickly. So not all Wilson's leather is created the same. Don't pick it all up. And it tends to be priced up a bit when you go to a regular Goodwill. So you gotta find it in alternative places if you wanna pick it up. Yard sales, of course. And then of course the bins. I picked up Wilson's leather at the bins. You have seen me sell it before from there. Did I say one month and two weeks? I think I did. Some bionic shoes that sold for 18 bucks. Oh, sorry. I just thought of something. So I told y'all I sent out 30% offers over the weekend. I use Prime Lister's Closet Assistant. I've talked about it here before. Um, if you're interested, there's, you know, codes in the description, blah, 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 for percent off for new signups, whatever. <laughs> and I do get a kickback for it, of course. Everybody that talks about what they use gets a kickback. It's just like any other co closet assistant. It's just like Posture VA. It does the same thing, but I prefer Prime Lister because of scheduled um, shares and I don't have to look at it every day. Y'all have heard me say this before. I feel like I'm doing another ad, but the whole point is when I went in to make the massive 30% off, I usually do offer 20% off and I did 30% off for the weekend. I do that around the first of every year, every month, because people are getting paid this time of the month. FYI, <laughs> pro tip. <laughs> but what I noticed when I went in there, I did not notice it before, is you could schedule that. Now I do this every month at the same time. I haven't done it in two months because I forget every month around the first to do it. So now I can have it scheduled on the 30th to send out the 30% off of my closet 31st, first. I don't know which I should do. I'll think about that. I don't know. Probably the 31st is probably what I'll do. That way the offer stands for what, 24 hours? And then it goes into the first, depending on when people get paid. Get me? Got me? Good. <laughs> I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think that's a great idea. I, I really like that scheduled thing. I'm all about that. Y'all, I'm all about efficiency. Y'all know this. And I'm all about it being scheduled out. I don't have to think about it. I love that. I don't have to think about sharing. I love it. I love it. Bionic shoes. I'm going to shut up. <laughs> it really is, like, awesome. <laughs> One month in three weeks. Bionic shoes for 18 bucks, which is fine. These are cute. And they look like almost new. Y'all know I don't sell really used shoes, so it, it, they have to be like really valuable for me to pick up old, old shoes. I don't like cleaning shoes. I don't like feet. I don't like it. So, not going to do it. Here's a bolo brand. I found this at my Goodwill. I have a great Goodwill. I know I do. I'm not going to act like I don't. <laughs> it's the Bronson Manufacturing Co. I looked at it and said, uh, that looks like some bougie stuff right there. We're going we're gonna to look this one up. Super, super high sell through. It's a rarity. Um, there was not a lot available on the market and it sold really, really fast. So likelihood if you find it, it's probably pretty low, honestly. Um, I'll probably never find it again. <laughs> but if I do, I'll be very happy. It doesn't seem to be that all oh, that high quality, honestly. I was not impressed with the quality of it, but I, it looked like hipstery, bougie type stuff. I don't know how to describe it. I mean, if you look at the tags and tell, right? So definitely a Bolo brand on this one. Why is it a Bolo brand? I should tell you how much it sold for to tell you that it's a Bolo brand, right? $69. A button up men's shirt sold for $69 in three weeks. That is freaking amazing. <laughs> it was used to be a lot less, but $69? I think that's how much it was sold for originally. So it's, 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 that one was a shocking one to me, okay? Didn't think it would sell for that much, but it did. Lululemon shorts. These are reversible little shorts, super cute. Of course, y'all know I always pick up Lululemon. I know everybody doesn't, but I do well with Lululemon. I don't really have a problem selling it, so I keep picking it up. <clears throat> Excuse me. One and a half months, 27 bucks for shorts. 
All right. Scarlet Darkness. This is a brand. This was the first time I'd ever picked it up. I have a jacket too of the same brand. It's like a gothy cosplay type brand. It's online. And this was new with tags. I got lucky with this one. So I went ahead and picked it up. This is like a Renaissance dress. I have like a vampire-ish type jacket too. My son said it's cool, so I believe him. <laughs> it's sold for $35 in one and a half months. So that is definitely a brand I'm going to be trying out if I keep seeing it, which I probably won't, honestly. What's the likelihood of me finding two pieces? I was shocked when I found two pieces, honestly. Did not think that was going to happen. Best sale of the weekends right here. It's a McDougal. So, yeah. Of course, it's the best sale of the weekend. Love McDougal. It is a McDougal. It is new with tags. It is, the tag is stuck on the dress. I'm so scared of ruining these dresses. I'm so scared of these dresses in general. That have all these sequins and beads and, and all this stuff on it. It's so pretty. I love selling McDougal. I, I would have bought this for $30 to $40. So I do pay up for the McDougals. I mean, I have found them at, at Goodwill before. So you don't always have to uh, pay up for McDougal. Size 16, 25 days is how long I've had it listed. And it sold for $175 over the weekend. That is a great sale. Love that. I have... Three, four of them sitting right there next to me. They will be getting listed today because it is prom season. We got to get these things listed. It is prom season and wedding season. I was in Baton Rouge over the weekend on Saturday and we literally were walking about by so many people in sequins. We were in the downtown area headed out to a concert and there was a big wedding going on. It was a very fancy wedding. We were in the fancy part of town, the expensive part of town, the bougies. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> there was a wedding going on, tons of people in sequins and fancy dresses, and there was also prom going on, so tons of people in sequins and fancy dresses. So, like, it was like screaming at me, girl, you better get those dresses listed. I'm seeing all those people walking around in those dresses. Like, yeah, I need to get home and do that. Antonio Mulaney again. I have had these pants for a whole year. These must be wool. They feel like wool. They are polyester wool and elastane. Size eight, just a regular old pair of plain work dress pants. These are weird. So I've had these for a year. Did sell for $28. I would have paid 99 cents for these since I've had them for a year. But it's weird how, so I will pick up a bunch of these. Sorry, that is very distracting. Wow, all right, sorry. You stop saying sorry. Sorry for saying sorry. They're weird because the dress pants with the Antonio Alini, the new tags ones, like I will list a bunch of them at once and a bunch of them will sell and then, then it's like a trickle thing. So I don't know what it is. Maybe it's size, maybe it's style. I don't know. Three months, a Talbot sweater. This is so cute. I knew this would sell quickly because it's just so cute. $19, three months, got it at the bins. I probably, I don't, I'm not going to be picking up a lot of Talbots at my regular Goodwill because I'm at a $7 average price there. So, I'm not going to be picking up a lot of Talbots. There's stuff that would sell, but, you know, in general. But look how cute this is. The little dragonflies on it and stripes. Cute, cute little cardigan. I thought of my mom when I saw it. I asked her if she wanted it, but it was too big for her. So, this just looks like something my mom would wear. Did I say how much I sold for? Three months. I'm getting punch drunk and $19. This is why I do daily videos because your girl can't do more than 20 minutes. I get to that 20 minute mark. I get a little, little goofy, a little goofy. $23 and one and a half months is a show me your moo moo. Show me your moo moo. Size small. This is a something romper. What is nice about show me your moo moo. Where is the inside tag? And I will show y'all what is nice about show me your moo is it has this is this has a linen blend also it has the name where is it thelma romper right there that is on the back of the tag so there's your material back of the tag at the bottom thelma romper so you can look it up very easily 
which is fabulous. So I did look this up, saw that the sell through was there and the price point was there. So I did get this at my regular Goodwill. I should not have picked it up, but sometimes I can't help myself. These things happen. For Cynthia, this is a brand I was trying out a while back at the bins. I was picking it up at the bins. It is lidded. I wanted to see if it would do well. It does not. The, the jury has come to a conclusion that it is not a good brand. For Cynthia, this stuff is cute. I like it. I probably, I wouldn't wear this shirt personally, but it is cute though. There are some items I see that are for Cynthia that I would wear. So I'm just picking it for myself from now on when I see it. Five months, 13 bucks. And it's really high quality. You could tell that it's really well made. So I'll pick it up for myself. This is a pair of Free People jeans shorts. It's shorts. They're not going to do well. We don't get excited about shorts. We shouldn't. That's okay. There's very rare is a pair of shorts going to go for more than 30 bucks. They're out there, but for the most part, they're not. Free People jean shorts. $16. Two months. I'm almost at 30 minutes and I'm worn out. <laughs> and it still has some stuff to go. I'm almost done there. Lily Pulitzer dress. This dress is so pretty. Y'all know I love to sell Lily. I pick up Lily a lot. And we I see it a lot here because of where we live. I mean, we're we're almost coastal. We're not 100% coastal, but we're coastal enough. I mean, I can drive an hour and get to the coast. So we're coastal enough <laughs> that people want this stuff and people wear it in our area. And, and we're Southern, so Lily Pulitzer is very Southern, very coastal. $39, two months. This is such a cute dress. So cute. Bowden, I sold two Bowden dresses. Bowden, I really only pick up like these substantial items or something that I'm just like, that is so cute. That is so cute. <laughs> so yeah, you, you, you learn with Bowden. Like, this one's a Pawnee knit. Bowden. What size is it? Size 10. Great size. And it's that nice thick Pony. So Ponty. Pony. Pont. Whatever. <laughs> Somebody told me in my comments one time how to say it. Ponty. I think that's what it is. Y'all let me know if I'm saying that right. I'm gonna go with Ponty. $31. Three months. That's great. Um, Bowden does seem to be a little bit slow these days. So I'm a little pickier. Like I said, it's got to be a, a quality Bowden or a like a great print. If it's like a thin Bowden dress, then it's got to be a great print. A maxi I would pick up. Um, there are some Bowdens I will pass up. I, I just passed up one recently that was like a thin cotton. I just, yeah, no. No, I don't see that one selling for a good bit. Some J. Crew shorts. These came from the bins. And this is a great print. Look at that print. Love that print. But J. Crew shorts don't sell for a lot. At least didn't. But that's okay. Because this print's awesome. And it needed to go into the world. And did not need to go into the um, landfill. These are the City Fit. Yeah. J. Crew City Fit. This is an... Uh, somebody just sent me an offer for $10. I like that. <laughs> City Fit for... These look like an old tag. So, kind of not surprising that they took so long to sell. Anyway, three months. 12 bucks. Eh, whatever. This one's cute, too. Two Bowden dress sold for $30 or more. That's great. And they both had a good sell through. This one's so cute. It's also Bowden. It is also, it's, this one's a size two. This one's tiny. Look how pretty it is, though. It's cute. And it's got that nice, thick Pawnee thing going on. It's a nice, thick fabric. So cute. Shift dress. $30, one and a half months. That's two great Bowden sales. So Bowden, Bowden, you can still, you can still get some money for Bowden. Task Pants. This brand is great. It always sells quickly. These actually took a little while. These took three months. 19 bucks. Three months, that means I got these at the bins though. So I'm okay with that from the bins. I like this brand from the bins. I don't think I'm going to keep picking it up at my regular Goodwill, though. It, even though it does have a, set, a high sell-through, normally, these didn't, but normally it does. I've, I've moved tasks very quickly, many a time. Um, I think I'm going to pass it up from now on, unless it's for myself. But at $7 price point, 
cast for me is not worth picking up. So teach their own. Lane Bryant pants. Not a brand I pick up very often, but they were newer tags. And I looked them up and they were a newer style. So I did see that they had a great sell through and they would sell for enough. Three weeks, $38. These are Mercari sales, by the way. The task were too. That is excellent. I picked up, there was another pair I picked up too that sold really fast for a great price. I think it didn't sell for as much, but I saw that I had picked up two pairs of Lane Bryant pants at the same time that were doing tags. And then the last sale is nothing special. One and a half months, $21. A pair of anthropology pants that are an extra small, but they're cute. They're camo. They're jogger, you know, cargo. Are they cargo? Am I lying? No, they're not cargo. They look almost like a cargo, but, but these are cute. And they're like a viscose type fabric. So they're like really soft and comfy. So somebody's going to be really happy that they got these. That is it. 36 sales. That was really great. Great, great weekend. I had a lot of sales in my liquidation store too, which means I'm going to be packing orders for the next two hours. <laughs> Probably three hours because I got all that big stuff. And the big stuff takes forever. Ugh. That's it, y'all. Oh, in case you're wondering also, big stuff takes longer to pack. I don't pick it up unless it gets a good amount of money. FYI. I don't bother with big things unless they make good money. Because they're hard to pack up. <laughs> I have learned not to pick up that kind of stuff. All right. Y'all have a great day. I hope your sales were great this weekend, too. Today is the first, so the sales should be okay. Hopefully they are. We like the first sales, don't we? I do. I love first sales. Goodbye.